This is question 9. In the first part, we're asked to solve for theta between 0 and 180 degrees, sine of 2 theta minus 30 degrees, plus 1 is equal to 0 0.4, and we're asked to give our answers to one decimal place. The question carries five marks. There are lots of different approaches that you could take. The first thing I'm going to do is subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. So we have sine of 2 theta minus 30 degrees will be equal to minus 0 0.6, or if you like, negative 0 0.6. At this stage, I'm going to take the inverse sine of both sides of the equation, which will give me 2 theta minus 30 degrees is equal to the inverse sine of minus 0 0.6. Let's go ahead and get a value for that. So shift sine, the inverse sine, of negative 0.6. That's going to give me minus 36.869 and so on and so forth. So at this stage, we can say 2 theta minus 30 degrees is equal to minus 36 point, And then we've got 869, 869 and so on and so forth. Where we go from here is entirely up to us. I'm just going to consider now the sine curve. What I've done is found a principal value, and that's a negative principal value. We know the sine curve cycles like so, and the first value that we found is negative. I can now consider one the same distance forward from minus 180, or I can take both of these on now and do a full cycle here to pick up positive values. I'm going to leave them as they are, so what I'm going to write is that 2 theta minus 30 degrees will also be equal to minus 180 minus this value, or if you like, minus 180 plus the quantity here. So we're going to have minus 36.869 and so on and so forth. At this stage, what I'm going to do is solve for theta in both of these cases and consider that the subsequent solutions will be 180 degrees on. Remember, we're dealing with 2 theta, which is going to cycle every 180 degrees. So if I just go ahead and store this in the calculator, shift, store A. At this stage, you might have opted to go for the positive values, and that's perfectly fine. So let's deal with this one right here. I'm going to add 30 degrees to both sides. So we'll have minus 36.869 dot, 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 plus now the 30 degrees, and I'm going to divide by 2. All subsequent solutions will be 180 degrees on from this. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we're going to have then is our answer of A, which is there. We're going to add 30, and then we're going to divide by 2. That gives me minus 3.43, and so on and so forth. So I need to add a multiple of 180. So feet is equal to minus 3.43 dot, 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 plus 180. So if I add 180 to this one, let's just go ahead and do that one, plus 180, we can see that we've got 176.6. So... 176.6 degrees, that's given now to 1 dp, and that is the first solution. There will be no others in the interval, as you can see, we would go outside if we added another 180, and we're already outside with the first one. So let's now deal with this one. So what we have is theta will be equal to minus 180 plus now the 36.869 dot 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 plus now the 30 degrees divided by 2 plus multiples of 180 degrees on. Again, you might solve this entirely differently, but it is up to you. So let's now put minus 180. So we've got minus 180. We're going to now, from this, subtract the answer, which is stored in the calculator. We're going to add the 30 degrees. We're going to divide by 2, and that's going to give us now minus 56.56. So we can say that theta is equal to minus 56.56 dot 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 plus multiples of 180. So if I just add on a multiple of 180, so just adding on now for 180, this is going to give me now 123.4. So theta is equal to 123.4 degrees. And again, that is to one decimal place. So our two answers now. Uh, we have theta is equal to 123.4 degrees, and we have 176.6 degrees. And they are going to be the only two. So entirely up to you on how you want to solve that. I've done it with the negative values. You might want to do it with the positive values. 
So 123.4 and 176.6. Let's now look at the second part of the question. In part two, it says find all the values of x in the interval where x is between 0 and 360 degrees, for which 9 cos squared x minus 11 cos x plus 3 sine squared x equals 0, and we're asked to give our answers to one decimal place. The question carries seven marks. It says you must show clearly how you obtained your answers. What I need to do here is get this in one trig ratio. I can either have it in sine x or cosine x. I'm going to put this in cosine because we have cos to the first power. I can change sine squared using an identity. So if I write an identity, we know that sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. So we can say that sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cos squared x. Now, if this had been sine x instead of cos x, I would have changed it into an equation in terms of sine x. So let's go ahead and write this. So 9 cos squared x minus 11 cos x, then we're going to have plus 3 sine squared x, which is now 1 minus cos squared x. We set this equal to 0, and I'm going to tidy up. So 9 cos squared x minus 3 cos squared x will give me 6 cos squared x minus 11 cos x, and then we're going to have plus 3 is equal to 0. That looks like it's going to factor. That's going to factor to give me 3 cos x minus 1 multiplied by 2 cos x minus 3. And we set that equal to 0. So let's just check that. 6 cos squared x minus 9 cos x minus 2 cos x plus 3. So from this, we can see now that 2 cos x minus 3 would equal to 0. And that gives me that cos x would be equal to positive 3 over 2. Cos x can't be equal to positive 3 over 2, as we've got a maximum of 1 and a minimum of minus 1. If we just draw a quick sketch of a cosine curve, we know from our work with this curve that we have the maximum here of 1, minimum of minus 1, therefore cos x can't be 1.5. So we take 3 cos x minus 1 equals 0, so cos x is equal to 1 third. When we deal with cos x, we will find a principal value and then consider subsequent solutions. If I have one x degrees in, I will have the same value x degrees back from 360, such that cos x is equal to cos of 360 minus x. So let's go ahead and get a principal value for this one. So we'll do now the inverse cosine of a third. This is going to give me now a principal value, and that value is 70.5. So we can say that x is equal to 70.528 dot 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 and then what we'll have is x will be equal to 360 degrees minus the 70.528 dot 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 dot. So my first solution x is going to be to one decimal place 70.5 degrees and then the next one I'm simply going to subtract this away from the 360. So 360 minus the answer 289.5 so 289.5 degrees no other solutions in the interval and there are seven marks in total for the question